that uh, that was a piece of the building that had been recently finished. Apparently, the uh, the new reinforcements made a difference. These uh, yeah. red beams that uh, were added. So they're going to have to drop this section of the building. They are. They're going to have to. Uh, they're going to have to find a way. They've been propping up the two sides, and then they're going to have to try to take balls and break through uh, so that it's sufficiently stable for people to go in and, and see that if they can recover what whatever bodies are there and uh, then begin removing the debris. How far into here do you wander during the course of Oh, I've been in the lower section over there. What, when you come out here, what does this do to your sense of resolve? I don't know that uh, it's there. I don't know that it changes it. I, it, 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 it. It's more about the families and the people and the men and women. changing cast of characters here as the hours and the days go by. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I first came out here, of course, there was no one here except about six or eight people pulling some bodies out of the area. The people had been burned badly and, and uh, injured. Uh, and there wasn't, of course, a vehicle here except there was a fire truck over here that was on fire. It was the fire truck for this helipad that you see. And... Uh, a few cars were burning, and the whole building was in flames. The aircraft came from right over came from here. From over here, hit a light. A couple of light poles. Yeah, the and then uh, came in about between the first and second floor over here. And it went in through three rings. Uh, I'm told the nose is, is still in there, uh, very close to the inner courtyard, about one ring away. So the flight recorder may still be in the nose, for all we know. It's conceivable. When I came around that corner, you could see pieces way up there at the far end of the airplane. <clears throat> but you've got a problem in this world of ours with terrorism. That is, it's not unique to the Pentagon or New York. It's, it's, uh, it's across the globe. There are a number of people and organizations and countries that have consciously decided to use terrorism to impose their will on others and to deny others the, the freedom and the ability to go about their business and, and uh, live their lives. And it, it, the United States of America is a free country where everything about us is that everyone can do what they wish and go where they wish and think what they wish and say what they wish. And, and the purpose of terrorism is to terrorize people. It's to prevent people from having that freedom and to prevent people from being able to uh, enjoy their lives and, and, uh, and, and be free of the others imposing their will on them. So it is a, it, it really strikes very much at the whole heart of our country.